Welcome friends, Lost Guy here, and it's time for more Professor Layton and the Lost Future. Let's go. Continue. I saved, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Boo -doo -doo -doo. The story so far. Layton and Luke remain mystified by the locals' terrified reactions to the professor's top hat. While working their way through town, the pair receive a second letter from Luke's future self. Following the instructions in the letter, our heroes head to Green Hospital on Auckland Land. Auckland Lane. Auckland Land. Lane. Hey, lady! Good day, young lady. Would you happen to know whether this establishment is a hospital? A hotel? Hello there, gentlemen. If you're looking for a hotel, you've come to the right place. Hotel Duke is one of London's finest and most famous. Will you be doing us the honor of staying here? Well, famous hotel, you keep an awfully low profile. This is the first I've heard of a Hotel Duke. Well, there's a simple explanation for that. The Hotel Duke caters for ladies and gentlemen of means and tastes. I can't say we're as popular with the primary school crowd, little boy. Oh ho ho ho! Ho ho! Our friend doesn't take kindly to you besmirching the good name of her hotel, Luke. Thank you for your help, young lady. I guess we're at the right place. Hotel Duke. That's the name of this establishment. What the hell does that say, then? That does not say Duke. In we go. Welcome to the Hotel Duke, one of London's finest and most renowned establishments. Oh, hello again. Hee <laughs> hee. I ran ahead and took the liberty of preparing room for you. May I help you with your bags? Oh, um, that's very kind of you, but... We only wanted to ask directions to the train station. Come along now, sirs. I take it you're here on holiday? Well, the Hotel Duke is centrally located, as you can see. Stay with us and you'll spend less time traveling and more time having fun in the city. Aha! You do make a compelling argument. Young lady, location is everything after all. We'll take that room and directions to the train station as well, of course. Please, sir, none of that young lady stuff. Just call me Becky. Now, if I could just ask you to sign the hotel guest book. Um, Professor, are we really going to stay here? Indeed we are. Somehow you and I have managed to get ourselves lost in an unfamiliar area. As Becky noted, having a central location to return to while we're here could prove very useful. A hub, if you will. Oh, sleepy person. Oh, goodness me! Hello there! You have to forgive me, I didn't even see you coming in! Welcome to the Hotel Duke, home of exemplary service and the world's best breakfast. I'm Margaret, the hotel manager. Please don't hesitate to ask should you need anything. Professor? Thanks, but what about lunch and dinner? Aren't those the world's best that as well? <laughs> Aha! It seems we have a little gourmand here. Well, rest easy, young man. For lunch, we offer sandwiches made with freshly baked Hanaway soft bread. And if you're partial to a good roast, our beef with Yorkshire pudding is the best in London. You know, Professor, I've changed my mind. I quite like this place. Let's see here. <laughs> our sandwiches do tend to have that effect on people. Now, if I could just... Oh, dear. What's wrong? I've got four pens here, but only one of them has any ink in it. I don't suppose I could ask you to help me work out which one it is, could you? Why don't you just write with them? Why would you pick a pen? Alright. Only one of these four pens is actually usable, using the following clues to find the usable pen. All four pens currently have the wrong color cap. With the caps arranged correctly, all pens will have one white part. The usable pen is the left of the one that should have the green cap. Press letter of the usable pen. Okay. All pens have a white part, which means... This cap goes here. Okay, all four caps have... All four pens are currently the wrong cap. Okay. With the caps arranged correctly, all pens will have one white part. Hmm. 
It doesn't say whether they have to all be different colors, though, like... Okay, well, if these guys... Okay, that means this... It has to be this one. This goes here. Because... Blue and blue, because blue won't go into this one. Okay, yeah, there we go. So this is the pen. C! It's C. Here's my answer. Yep, got it right. Phew, that's a relief. In ink readable. You can use pen C. Once you pick them all up, however, it's easy to forget which one was usable. Well don't pick them all up! Yep. Ah, that's the one. Thank you ever so much. Now, if you'd be so kind as to sign your name. Very well. You're all set now, Professor Layton. Oh, and you must be Luke. Becky will show you to your room. Why does she know who Luke is? L did Luke sign too? Look, this teddy bear's come to welcome us. Coin. Clicking around. A brightly lit room like this helps to make one feel at home. Those flowers smell so good that I almost want to eat them. Uh, no, Luke, no. No, Luke. Right. Oh, puzzle time. Here we go. Changing Becky to, uh, Southern Voice. I'll be showing you to your room now, Professor Layton. My name is Becky. Please don't uh, hesitate to ask me should you need anything. We know your name, Becky. You told us earlier, remember? My name is Luke, by the way. Oh, and there's no need to be so formal. All that politeness makes me feel awkward. Sh Nanny's a stickler for service. I had to keep things formal when she's an earshot. Oh, I see. Righto. Those are, these are the same voice. What the hell's wrong with me? Channel Applejack. What in tarnation? Now then, if you two gentlemen are ready, I shall escort you to your room. Right this way, please. I don't remember- I can't, I, How do I not have my lot of heart voice right now? I can't- I can't summon it. Where- where's that voice at? I'm pleased to meet you. No, no, it's just Luke in there. Southern draw. No, 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 don't have it. This room's got the best view in the whole hotel. Lucky for you that it was- Lucky for you that it was available. You hear that, Professor? What a stroke of luck! Yeah, though, come to think of it, I suppose it's not really luck at all. We haven't had a single guest since we moved the hotel to this new location, you see. Well, the hotel... Hmm. Professor? Well, the Hotel Duke used to be located somewhere else? Um, it's a bit uh, touchy subject, so I'd rather not go into it. I hope you understand. Hey, I was really impressed with that way you solved that puzzle that Grand threw at, at you. You know? Well, I do like a good puzzle. Me too. How about this? Solve this puzzle for me, and I'll tell you how to get to the station. Something's wrong with my voices. Got to work on that. Oh, look who it is! In the second game. A woman is looking for the station, but it doesn't seem to appear on her map. The map does one... The map does have one clue written on the back, however. Get from the flower shop to the station. Follow the path that students take from school to the library. Click on the station's location and touch submit. What? Get the flower shop to the station. Follow the path that students take from school to the library. There. <laughs> oh, they would go. Uh, there. So maybe it's across the street from the library. There. Here's my answer. I don't get it. I don't get it. Guess it's back to the drawing board. Draw the route on the map. Uh, this one. This one. I might not understand the question. I guess it's back to the drawing board. I might not understand the 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 hint here. Okay. There. Hmm. How about 
this. Ah, I don't get it. What to say? I don't get it. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay, we're cheating this. Let's see. Come safe. Come safe. Okay, here we go. It's this one. Here's my answer. Okay, why is it that one? No puzzle. Why is it that one? Apprentice. I use the same logic. Oh, I, d I want one over. Okay, it was uh, like that. If you go here like this, you go here like... I use the logic, but I use it incorrectly. Good navigation. If you take the route that the students take to the library as just the start of the flower shop, you end up with the map above. There are a couple other routes you could take, but they all end up at the same destination. Yeah. I got a little go! Got a little go! Nicely done! Oh, I nearly forgot. You were trying to get to the station. It's not too far. Just keep going east. Once you travel, leave the hotel. You come out, out onto Flatstone Street. Head north and the station will be on your right. Thanks, Becky. I think we'll be able to find it now. Yeah, they're the same voice. Hey, wait. One more thing. Mm, what's that? Mm, it's the same voice. It's like a bit of a detour, but you should drop by the arcade on your way to the station. Yeah, doing that for Becky. There's a restaurant there that's just scrumptious. It's not a patch on the. F it's not a patch on the food we serve here, of course, but it's not half bad, you know. Yeah, she's getting valley because that's all I got right now. The arcade? You mean that place with the little boy standing blocking the entrance? Little boy? Oh, you must be talking about Max? I've got him wrapped around my little finger. Just let him know that Becky sent you and he'll let you straight through. Haha, <laughs> good to know. Well, we might as well go through the arcade and see a bit more of the area. Click on things. Bagsy this bed, Professor. I should be able to spend a comfortable night in this bed. Ah, oh, the cup that cheers. Let's go once we've had some tea. Got a bunny? That's a bunny. Alright, moving on. Not no more puzzles with Becky, okay. Okay, snoozing. Ah, oh, young man, do you have a moment? Uh, hmm? Are you talking to me? I am indeed. Uh, Luke, was it? That's right. What can I do for you? Oh, it's nothing terribly important. It's, it's been a while since we had a youngster like yourself here. And so I thought I'd welcome you with a gift. A gift for me? That's right. These are all the rage of the local children, I hear. Oh, it's one of those toy cars. You have one too, Becky? Me? Huh? No way. I'm not into kiddies' toys like that. Oh. Not that there's anything wrong with having a interest in toys, of course. I mean, that car is perfect for a boy your age. You have fun with it now? But, uh, um, yeah, I'll try. <laughs> Don't look so glum, Luke. Collecting miniature cars is a perfectly respectable hobby for a gentleman. Yeah, that's right, Professor. See, I told you. So, oh, toy car minigame. Oh, okay, that's what that is. I thought it was a robot. What is this about? You see the latest and greatest in toy cars and the Polto Manager Margaret. Uh, Mar Margaret. Margaret? Yeah. The toy car minigame has been added to the trunk. Use your wits to steer your car through a number of twisty obstacle ridden courses. Okay, I gotta see this. What? Toy car. Pick all the items on the course and guide your car to the goal. Okay. Number and types of tiles available to use will be different for each course. The tile by sliding it from... Okay. But one tile on each square, of course. You can only place tiles on standard grass or sand. Tiles can't be placed on squares that contain bridges, switches, trees, rocks, or water. Makes sense. Car passes over a jump tile. It will leap over the next square no matter what it contains. 
the card passes over an arrow tile, it will turn and move in that direction. Once the card is passed over a tile, that tile will vanish from the deck. But you gotta change direction. The card can only cross a bridge if there are no gaps in it. Raise and lower bridges by guiding the card over the yellow switches of its course. There's a lot going on this, okay. Reaching the goal alone isn't enough. Pick up every item in the course along the way, you won't clear the course. If your car hits any obstacles along the way or drives out the course, you'll have to start again. There are total of 10 courses which you can collect as you play through the game. Collect every course and make sure to solve every puzzle you can. Conquer every course the game is off to offer, something special will happen. More puzzles! Ah, let's see this lady's course. Oh no, not again! Ah, oh, it's like saying yes to the owl! Ah! Oh, here we go. Start. The secret to a live, long life, but after me walk. The secret to a long life is plenty of sleep and exercise. Don't you know? Speaking of exercise, let me tell you about the route I took. I take on my afternoon walks. Pass over all the flags. Go. Okay, let's see here. So. Alright. Hold on. Obviously, it goes there. Question is, how do we go up there from? Oh, no, 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 we'll go that way. How about over here? Let's say we go here. Oh, we have to go like up like that. Too dumb to understand what I gotta do here. There we go, perfect. Go. What the hell is this? I wasn't expecting a thingy, but okay. Woo! Do 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 do. Different game. Congratulations, you have completed afternoon walk. Yeah, we got it. Okay, moving on. Picture book. Oh, yeah, I got more things for picture book. Go back. I need to get a lot more for that. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to go to the title screen. I wanted to... Yeah, here, close. Okay. That would have been bad. Moving on. This way. This way. Oh, this kid. Hi there. You're Max, aren't you? Ding, 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 ding. Correct. But how do you know my name? Becky told us. Beep. Invalid answer. The bossy Becky sent you. You must be staying at the hotel then. Ding. Uh, I mean, yes, we are. Is the arcade through that archway? And does it lead to the station? Ding, 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 ding. Correct. That's the arcade, all right. And you can get to the station from there. Walk all the way through the arcade and you'll come out onto a big road called Flatstone Street. And just head up Flatstone Street. And at the north end, you'll find the station. Thanks, useless kid. <laughs> Walk up. Okay, okay. There we go. He was in the way, by the way. He was. Alright, whatever game. Okay, moving in. This freaking guy again? Oi, what are you looking at, Pine Size? Oh, um, hello, sir. Didn't we just meet you in front of the hotel? What hotel? Not that it's any of your business, but I've been posted out here all day. Bostroid, uh, have my guts. Bostroid? Bostroid have my guts for garters if I even thought about sneaking off. Yikes! Well, um, it looks like I got you mixed up with someone else. Have a good day, sir. Hold your horses, shorty. You're the one who wanted to talk, so you ain't running out on me now. Standing around all day ain't that thrilling. Watching you squirm with this puzzle might help pass the time. Okay. Okay, sir. Oh, another one of these. If seven days after 70 days ago was Sunday, which day is seven days before 70 days from now? What?
Wouldn't it just be Sunday? It's just Sunday, isn't it? It's just Sunday. This one's as good as solved. Got it. Yep. Got it. Got it. Got it. That's right. Sunday. One week is seven days. If you're asked what day was it X days ago, or what day will be X days from today, and X is divisible by seven, then you know that it will be the same day as today. What does this picture have to do with anything? <laughs> Good point. A man in a trench coat is preventing you from leaving and wants to see a little boy squirm. Oh dear. What? You sold it already? Great. How am I supposed to stop myself hitting not enough on the job now? Yeah, get a better hobby. That pass will be alright. I ain't got no more puzzles for you. I'll see if I can think up another one, but I'm warning you, it's gonna take a while. So you gotta come back to other to some characters for more puzzles. Oh my, the interior of the arcade is rather beautiful. There's a different usage of the word arcade then, because arcade to me is, you know, arcade machines, arcade games. What a collection of paintings, I wonder where this is. Ah, this guy. Sorry fellas, we're not open yet. Did you see the sign out the front? It should have said as much. The sign seemed to indicate that you were open. It's no problem though, we... That Max is the lost cause. I've lost count of the times I've told that boy to check the sign on his way out. Sorry for the inconvenience. Would you like to take a seat and wait? We'll be ready before too long. I'm afraid we'll have to come back later. We're in a bit of a rush at the moment, you see. Just as well, really. I've got a mess on my hands that needs my attention right, right now. What seems to be the problem? I can't open the back door. The missus set a new code for the lock when she went out. We left, she left me a note explaining the code, but I haven't got a clue what it means. Hmm, that is quite the predicament. Alright, here we go. That seems simple enough. What the? Okay. It seems you need to enter a number to open the door. The only clue you have is a hastily written note from a woman known for her poor handwriting. Can you figure, write up, work out the number you, you need? Oh, it's three numbers? RHB? It's RHB! So, okay, so... Fingers. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J... Okay, that's too many letters. RHB, huh? Two, four, three? Like... How can your handwriting be so bad? Right? Where, what are these lines about, right? If you take out these lines, right, then you've got 243. That's my assumption. So, 243. A two. A four. A three. A three. A three. A three. There we go. I've got a good feeling about this one. All right, now you got me. If at first you don't succeed, only well, you could find some numbers in the note. I just did. Is not two four three? Okay, what other numbers could it be? I think it's. I still think it's two. Two four, and maybe this is the one where I got it wrong. Two four and what? It could be a six. Two, four, and six? Two, three, four. I don't see a five in there. Six, maybe. I don't see a seven in there. Kind of, kind of an eight. Maybe there's a nine. Yeah, erase it all. If you were to rotate this upside down, what would you have? You'd have a 9, still that 4, and nothing. Hmm. 
Maybe a five? Try that nine, four, five? Let's see if I've got this right. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. I must have overlooked something. Ah, uh, well, you look again, look again, look again. I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. So, scum safe. Let's look at the hints. Because I don't... I thought I had it, but I was wrong. Let's see what the hints are. It looks like RHB, you say? No, that's not the right track at all. Try looking at things in a different way. The answer is a number, so perhaps these scrolls are numbers too. The mark on at the end looks a bit like an equal sign, doesn't it? Hmm? Notice the equation consisting of two three-digit numbers. Take a closer look. What? It's two three-digit numbers? Look at number four. Oh, that- oh, wow! Hit number four just gives you the answer. That actually reads 121 minus 113 equals... You can find the answer to that, and you have the answer to the puzzle. So the answer is 8. Okay, 1, 2, 1, minus 1, 1, 3. Let's see if we can see that. 1, 2, 1, minus 1, 1, 3. Ah, damn it! Yeah, there it is right there. It's really close by. Alright, so the answer is 8. Really? How's that a f How's that an eight? <laughs> Holy crap! That's an eight! That's an eight! Alright, alright. That should do the trick. Oh my god, that was it? Oh my god. Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. Few things. Few things. Exactly right. The number you need is eight. If you look at the note in the right way, you can see that it says one two one minus one one three. So of course the answer is eight. Oh, that's not how I saw it. Cheers, fellas. Uh, thanks to you, I can finally start cooking. I'm back for dinner. It's on the house. I got a banana. Alright. Leaving. Yeah, you too saw that nerd whale skulking around, didn't you? Yes, we did. Why do you ask? I thought I should give you a word of advice. The whole gang is bad news. They call themselves the family, and they monitor everything people get up to around these parts. Who are you talking about, exactly? I'm sure you've seen them all dressed the same in their long gray coats and matching hats. Oh, and don't even try to be a hero. Bravery will only get you in the worst kind of trouble. But why don't the police do something about it? Police? Now there's a word I haven't heard in a while. I haven't seen police in these streets for years. It's the family who make the law nowadays. How terrible. You're telling me. I, oops, here comes one of them boys. Now, turn up the steer. Would you mind if I had a look at that paper you're holding, sir? Go for it, knock yourself out. No, no, that can't be. Ah! What? Professor, look at the date on this paper. Keep your hair keep your hair on it, fellas. It's just a newspaper. Right, I've gotta go. Please the bean all that can I have my paper back. Oh yes, of course, thank you. I didn't misread the date on that paper, did I, Professor? I don't think so, Luke. It was dated ten years in the future. It's as if we've traveled through time. Maybe the reason why nothing looks familiar is that we're in London of the future. It would appear so. Whoever wrote this that la whoever wrote us that last letter assured us that we'd find proof of our time travel at Green Hospital. Let's make our way over there without any further delay. Mystery three solved. Wait, we solved mystery three already? The strange, unfamiliar streets belong to a future London from ten years after Professor Layton and Luke's time. Okay. 
don't think there's anything of interest in this shop. What's so fascinating about those trinkets, Professor? This part of the arcade is a bit plain. Oh, there's a thing on the ground! Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back! Ah, crap! This must be the big road that Max was talking about. Gladstone Street! Excellent. If we continue with the north, we should find the station on the right. Then we're almost there. Let's keep moving, Professor. Huh? Hey, is it just me or is that man on the corner shaking? I don't know, but we're getting the fudge out of here. There it is. Some yo some yobo dropped a banana skin here. How disgusting. Oh, what dreadfully uncouth behavior. Be a gentleman and pick it up, would you, Luke? No worries, Professor. Oh, and while you're doing that, here's a puzzle to make the chore more fun. What? What? <laughs> Slippery trip. Here we go. Make your way from the start to the to the goal, but beware of banana skins. Whenever you step on one, you'll slide without stomping until you hit a wall. Can you find a solid st route through these slippery streets? Press a red arrow to move in that direction. What? Is this really a puzzle? Done! Here's my answer. Yes, that's it, okay. I Simple enough. It. Okay, we did it a little off, but there it is. Peel Facto! Most people have seen banana skins used in cartoons for slippery comedic effect. If you've ever actually slipped up, stepped on a banana skin, though, you'll know it's no joke. Little wonder Professor Layton considers littering to be the height of ungentlemanly behavior. Huh. They are cleaned up. There's one less banana skin li littering the streets of London, Professor. Well done. Your thoughtfulness may have just saved someone from having a nasty slip. That was it. Okay. And that was bananas. <laughs> Talk to Shaky. What do you want? Uh, please don't uh, hurt me. If you're looking for the station, it's just uh, down the street. Uh, please leave me alone. That guy, okay. Hmm, I figured clicking on the car would get something, but nope. Well, we went through the arcade just cause we could? What the hell? We go this way now. Hey look, there's a guy. He looks just like those family gangsters we saw before. Indeed, it's remarkable just how anonymous they seem to be. The tunnel. So, Professor? Isn't that the sign for the train station? Indeed it is. It took longer than expected, but we finally arrived at the station. Mystery 6 A collection of shady characters all dressed identically in grey seem to lurk on every street corner in the future London. What are they up to? Uh -huh. Let's talk to them. If you don't stop looking at me, funny boy, you'll be looking over funny when I... looking very funny when I'm finished with you. Oh! Sorry, sir, I didn't mean to stare. Do it again. Okay. There's nothing out of the owner up there. Good public transport good public transportation is useful for any investigation. We need to buy tickets before boarding. Will you take care of that, Luke? Of course, Professor! It looks like I have to select the destination. Where's the button of Auckland Lane Station? You're here, Auckland Lane. Well, that was easy enough. Travel to this destination? Yes. 
How convenient. We have fast travel now. You've arrived at Auckland Lane Station. Not really fast travel, you know what I mean. It's a sign for the Underground Railroad. Railway. I think there's a poster for the hospital we're looking for. Oh good, according to the map on the poster, the hospital seems to be quite close to the station. Alright. What platform- which platform does the train depart from, Luke? Well, that was easy enough. Look, Professor! We're just a few steps away from the hospital. Wonderful! In we go! Looking around... Whoa, what the hell was that? The tree! Go back, go back out. What was that with the tree? There we go! Oh, is this a hidden puzzle? Alright, here we go. Hidden puzzle. Whoa! Birds on a wire. Fifteen. Hooey! I'm trying to shoot the birds away from these wires. Every time I clap my hands, half of them fly away. But well, then one comes back. The pattern keeps repeating itself. Even if I stood here clapping my hands all day, the number of birds would always end up right back where it started. How many birds were there on the wires originally? What? What? Okay, okay, okay. Every time I clap my hands, half of them fly away, but then one comes back. So what would make it an unlimited number? If it's two, one leaves, and then one comes back, the other one leaves. It's two, right? It's gotta be two. This one's as good as solved. Yeah, it's two, yep. Ninja actually like X over two plus one. Just it's just two. Tweet tweet, two birds is correct. Half of two is one. So one bird flies away and then comes right back. The number of birds always ends up being two. In this puzzle using half to refer to one bird is partially is potentially quite misleading. Be sure to choose your words carefully, even if you're explaining something so simple. Hmm. Down and down. What are you on time? Alright, so this hospital is going to be significant, so we'll see this one next time. So that right there is the game for now. I have fun with the watching. That's what's all about, isn't it? Having fun this time by. And see you next time. Just real quick, just check here. We are... Uh, we are how far? That much on page two. Okay, so there you go. Alright, so there you go. That right there is the game. See you next time.